Good morning. My name is Greg Davis, and I would like to welcome you to the CVS ArcSafe webinar on remote switch actuators for molded case circuit breakers today. We've got five different actuators we're going to show you today. The thing to understand when you're dealing with molded case circuit breakers is this. These can be mounted in a panel board, which is quite often how we see these things mounted. They can be mounted in an enclosure, okay? And the thing that we need to know is what are you putting your hand on to actuate these? The remote switch actuators we're going to show you today are the ones as if they are mounted in a panel board situation. If you have them in a motor control center, that will be a different style of actuator than this. What matters to us is what you're going to put your hand on. And we're going to look at some small ones. And just to let you know, even though we're only showing you five actuators for molded case circuit breakers, uh, the smallest one we've actually done is in a 240 volt enclosure for a small uh, two pole circuit breaker. And the largest one we've done, you're actually going to get to see today, is on one of the Westinghouse P frames, is what we call it, the SP, the SPBC, SPCB frame, the uh, the large 2,000 to 3,000 amp variety. So, even though we're only showing you five, don't be afraid to ask us questions about what you actually have or send us pictures. Again, you can contact us at 1-877-472-3389 or send your pictures to info at cbsarcsafe.com. Without further ado, we're going to go ahead and start looking at our actuators. <coughs> the first one we're going to look at is going to be the RSA 113E. This is on a Eaton Cutler Hammer um, M frame circuit breaker. The M and the L frame have both the same face shape, so we can use one actuator for both of those. And so we use the RSO1 for this and I'm simply going to power it on. We've got the circuit breaker in the closed position right now so I simply hold down our trip button and our close button and that's the simple operation of the RSA 113E. The next one we're going to look at is the Square D new power pack frame. So you had the legacy Square D I-line type of circuit breakers, which come in a large range, and we actually have circuit uh, remote switch actuators for all those. And their newer line is the Power Pack line, and so that's the one that we're going to look at today. And the one we're going to show you right now is the one for the M frame. And I want to say the M and the L are the same size. Is that correct? On the on the Eaton Color Hammer, the M and the L are the same size. On the end, okay. Okay, and then on the power pack, it's the... It's just, that's just the M Okay, it's just the M-frame on this one. So, this is the new M-frame. Now, the thing to remember with these is this is showing a flush mount. And when you're dealing with a lot of the square D-type things, the way that they mount their stuff, they may have it recess mounted. So, we need to see the pictures of how it's mounted in the panel board to make sure that we give you the right actuator for that. Sometimes they're flush mounted, other times they're recess mounted, and we need to know that geometry so we build the remote switch actuator for what your specific needs are. Now the largest one of the power of Pact is the R-frame, and this is the, the big 2500 amp one, and sometimes this thing comes recess mounted also. So we've seen this in several data centers, so we need to know when we're looking at this big one right here. Can we go over the full setup of like when it locates on? Yeah. Anything? So let me, uh, real quick, I'll take this one off the uh, actuator, the actuator off the face so you can see it right now. So can you see the down picture, Brian, now? Okay. So if you're looking at this, we have to be able to locate around this protruding part of the face of the circuit breaker to be able to see and have friction for moving up and down, okay? So whenever you have an actuator, you have to be able to have something that's going to counteract the force. The magnets will hold the circuit breakers in place, or the actuators in place on the circuit breaker, but it's the actual face that we're using 
that's going to help us with the, the horizontal shear loads to be able to open and close the circuit breaker itself. And so if you look, I'll, let me turn this actuator actually upside down here. You'll notice the face here is going to locate right inside of this aluminum locator right here. And we'll just slide it right in here, drop it down on the face, turn our magnets on, and now we'll be able to operate this. Okay, let me work. Uh, can you help me move the, the other one here in place now? Today's phrase is Group CBS, your need it now electrical supplier. I'm going to say that one more time. Group CBS, your need it now electrical supplier. Okay. Good. Okay. And you can send that to uh, admin. admin at cbsarcsafe.com. I say again, admin at cbsarcsafe.com. And I'll add that in the chat as well. Okay. So one of the things to understand is we have to do a lot of research on circuit breakers. And so just to be honest, when we first started looking at the P-frames for Westinghouse, the SPCB frames, we thought that they had just one size and it was the 2,000, 3,000, or 2,000, 2,500, 3,000 amp size. And it turns out that these come in three different sizes. The smallest one's in the 800 amp frame, then they have a 1,200 amp frame, and then they use the same size, physical size circuit breaker for the 2,000, 2,500, and 3,000 amp breakers. Okay, so we need to see face measurements again of what size circuit breaker you have and whether or not you might have the uh, shunt trip on this thing also. This is the RSA 20F and it's made to work on this circuit breaker and we're going to go close it at this time. You can find these circuit breakers literally around the world. Uh, Westinghouse made them. They were sold all over the Middle East for use in uh, oil and industrial facilities or use in uh, lots of other places besides that. And we still find lots of them around the United States. Um, they were replaced by the next one, which is the, the C series of uh, Moldy case circuit breakers made by Eaton Cutler Hammer, which came out of the Westinghouse brand. And this is the R frame. Now, the funny thing is on this R frame, it has a rating of between 800 and 2500 amps, depending upon how you want your trip timer set on the thing. And it was made by Cutler Hammer, Eaton Cutler Hammer. Uh, you'd see labels from Challenger. Sometimes you'd see it licensed to uh, Federal Pacific FPE, but it was still the same circuit breaker in all these cases. And so, the, the funny thing about it was, you know, send us your pictures to info at cbsarcsafe.com so we can help identify which version you have, okay? So again, info at cbsarcsafe.com or call us at 1-877-372-4489. Now, this is the last one we're going to look at. It's one of the other stout circuit breakers, I'll say, in terms of just how much force it takes to close this sucker. One of the things I'll note about this R-frame We've seen these in hotels, we've seen them in data centers, we've seen them in industrial application facilities as mains on motor control centers. And in each one of those cases, because it's a main circuit breaker, 
Uh, sometimes when you don't have like a 480 volt, uh, what I'd say are power distribution centers that would be between it and the 5 kV or 15 kV feed, these tends to have very high arc flash ratings because of that. And so um, this type of actuator right here is meant to keep you, again, outside of the arc flash hazard boundary. So um, it's not unusual to, to see these in things. So data centers, just to make a clarification for that, um, data centers are banks. Data centers are you know, internet companies, whether you're looking at Google, Facebook, um, Yahoo, um, they're telecommunication companies, whether you're looking at, say, um, Verizon, T-Mobile, um, Frontier Communications. All of these have data centers. Casinos are data centers. Banks are data centers. So you can run into these in all sorts of different types of facilities where you're thinking, okay, wait a minute, that's a data center. And so don't be surprised if you run up against this and you need a remote switch actuator for it. Again, the phrase for the day is Group CBS, your need it now electrical supplier. And send your pictures to info at cbsarcsafe.com. The phrase uh, for Group CBS, your need it now electrical supplier, you need to email that to admin at cbsarcsafe.com and right now we're going to open it up for questions so I'll just pause for a minute and let uh, Ben see if we got any questions now Well, we'd like to say thank you for again, again for tuning in to our presentation today. Uh, we have videos on our YouTube page for you to look at. And again, don't have any problem having, giving us a call at one 472 3389 or sending your pictures to info at cbsarcsafe.com. Thank you again.